was by Danielson Hall, which it's not too far away from Copley, so it was really scary, and I was just really thankful that I wasn't over there, because we were actually planning on going to the end, but I wanted to go more towards Kenmore, so I was just, I felt really bad, and it was really scary. It was like right in front of the Prudential Building, um, kind of looking down Boylston Street, and you know, the first um, explosion went off, and I thought it was like a gunshot, some type of like celebration thing, so I kind of just stood for a second, and then the second one went off, and then me and my friend, we just started running, and people were running everywhere, it was just so scary. <laughs> I was in Metapan, which is... Uh Probably, uh, probably three or four miles from here. So um, I was really scared when that happened. So um, I called my friend from BU because they usually hang out. We usually hang out around Ballstone Street. So uh, I called them, text them, and see how they were doing and all this stuff. They also called me. Some of them also called me. Well, yesterday I was actually watching the race in Kenmore Square, and we heard the two explosions I guess we didn't really know what they were at the time and then probably two minutes later the woman next to me got a phone call and like kind of started screaming because I guess she knew someone at the at the finish line and I don't know we were just in shock we didn't really know what was going on people kind of started like rushing out of Kenmore Square cops were like flying by on the street it was just shocking but we were just kind of confused, didn't know like what caused it or anything. It seems like it's a real like somber attitude, but everybody understands what's going on. People are trying to help, like it's a tough situation to deal with and like everyone's handling it the best they can.